Hi, my name is Liu, and today I'm two months post up. I don't know if you watch Alex Birdie's channel here on YouTube, but a couple of days ago he released a video with his chest reveal, and at the end I had to laugh so hard because he wears a t-shirt for the first time after surgery and explains his feelings. And I couldn't agree more with him and his feelings towards the situation because I felt absolutely the same when I put on a t-shirt for the first time after surgery, you know, without a binder or compression vest or bandage in between. It was just skin on t-shirt, t-shirt on skin and um, nothing in between. And it feels so weird but so cool at the same time. And it's still the same. Uh, I'm, I'm still not used to this feeling. Even now I wear a hoodie, but, but nothing underneath right now. And yeah, it's, it's still unusual. It's still a new experience. Um, and I like it. I like it very much. Unfortunately, my cactus Klaus passed away. He was not so alive anymore and I had to bury him. But he was reborn as my compression vest. <laughs> you might wonder how, why. I can show you. It came in this um, plastic thing. Doesn't he look funny? Um, look at this. It says compression vest Klaus. So I basically wear my cactus now. I've never explained how this periareola surgery method actually works. So I figured it might be a good time to do it two months afterwards. Now, I made a sketch. Here you have a breast. Number one, um, this is your nipple, this is your areola. And they make one incision around the areola, at the edge of the areola. That's why it's called periareola, because they cut around the areola. And a second incision in a bigger circle around the areola, basically. Depending on how big your chest is and how much skin you have. Number two. The shaded area is the skin they cut out. There's still your nipple and the areola. They can make it smaller depending on how much they cut out and they remove your breast tissue through this hole. By the way, it's also called the donut incision because it looks like a donut, obviously. Chocolate. Mm. And let's move on to number three. They basically take the outer circle and tighten it together so it fits around the areola like and they stitch it and then you have a risk of wrinkles because you have this circle of skin and it must fit in this circle you know what I mean <laughs> I'm not sure if I if I uh, am a good explainer so this is how it works but of course you are a bit limited if you have too much skin or a chest that's too large for this method, it won't work because um, there will be huge, huge wrinkles around your areola and nobody wants that. In my case, it was a bit risky to take this method because I didn't have a large chest, but it was like a B cup, I guess. I asked the hospital to send me the pictures they took at the very first appointment when I was there for a consultation in October just to have a comparison and I was so surprised because I had completely forgotten how my chest looked before surgery and I was really surprised <laughs> how big my chest was. <laughs> it was incredible how much skin they removed. and. For this amount of skin removal, the result is really, really good. I think now is the moment to show my current state of chest. This was my chest one week post-op.
and this is my chest two months post up. You can see the scab is all gone and I do have wrinkles around the areolas but I think they are not that noticeable. I was pretty surprised because when the scab was still on the edges it looked like little suns. <laughs> um, like scab suns. Um, I don't know. I know it looks awesome and <laughs> everything. Um, but I think I do want to have a chest revision just because I think the areolas are too big for, for my... I, I'm not the biggest guy and for me it, it still looks... it just looks too big. Last week I went back to Düsseldorf for a supervision with my surgeon. In the end I didn't meet my surgeon there but one of the team of surgeons that does the top surgeries there. I basically want you to know what's going on with my chest because there are hard spots on this side and there's still what I thought is fluid on this side and they might have to pull it out and he did an ultrasound. Now I know it's not fluid that's in there, but it's still a swelling. I didn't know that there can be swelling still two months afterwards, but now I know. Um, so I just have to be patient with this. And the hard spots on this side are basically scars underneath the skin. So I massage <laughs> my nipple area <laughs> two times a day. Uh, with the ointment. I do that anyway so the scars will be nice and and not too noticeable. Um, yeah, and I just have to be patient with this. Another thing I have to be patient with is workout because I wrote an email to my surgeon about two weeks ago and asked him when can I work out again. He answered, I should wait for another two weeks with that, but then I'm ready to go. Now I asked the surgeon again with this new knowledge of swelling and everything, when can I work out again? And he said, hmm, I can actually do sports now, but um, I shouldn't do anything like bench press or push-ups. I thought, oh no, that's exactly what I wanted to do because I really, I so want to know how my chest looks when there are chest muscles. Um, because I think you can judge it in a different way when, you know, when, when it's more chiseled or when, when you see how it could look like, you know, and then maybe the areolas are not too big for me anymore or I don't know. I'm I'm not a broad guy um, and that's I, I don't have broad shoulders. And I think that's why it bothers me that the areolas are so big. Because in relation to me it looks wrong. Not wrong... I hope you understand me right. I'm happy with my chest and I'm happy how it's healing and everything. That they, they could be a million problems on the way uh, but I don't really have problems I have swellings and hard spots but that's everything I don't have pain or um, you know but I want to be honest and I mean in the end it's my chest I have to live with it for years and years and years and centuries um, so I want it to be as perfect as it can be and right now it's not as perfect as it could be I think that's everything I can say today, a nice statement, and I can sleep on my stomach again, that's great, I do that, I want you to say daily, but actually it's like nightly, uh, I do that every night and I've slept very nice and tight since I can do that. Um, but that's everything, yeah. So see you in one week for my 15 months on testosterone. Have a nice day. Bye.
Harry Ariola, Sir Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Surgery, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Surgery, Math, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola, Harry Ariola.